Hello. Hello, hello. Nice, you got your sniffing sticker. Wait, what? Scratch and sniff a sticker? Saku, good job. Hi, Hux. Hello, hello. Well, we'll get started in a little bit. Just gotta take a sippy of my, my water, my wah wah. Get a sippy of my tea. That's right, my Arizona iced tea. And then we'll get started. Sniffing sticker. The sniffle sticker. Alright, BRB. Meowdy. Meowdy. Hello, Matthew. Hello. I didn't know they sniffed back. Sniffle. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and get started, but we won't we won't start drawing just yet. Let's go to our our Zatsu screen. Hello everyone. Hello. How y'all doing? Ooh, there we go. We're getting our stickers. Get your stickers, everybody. Got the Mokamamon sticker. Oh, I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty today. It's a little warm today. How's everyone doing? You can hear my music, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, so... <laughs> my throat is a little phlegmy today, but don't worry. Don't worry, it's not... I'm not sick as far as I know. It's because I just had ramen. <laughs> yeah, you did make that, Momon. That's right, you did make it. I still gotta... Well, the thing is, I've never baked before. Or, you know what? I have baked before, but it was it was cookies and I was helping someone. And it was one of those, like, you just get it right out of the packet. You put it on a pan and you put it to to, to cook, you know, to bake. So, <laughs> that's the only time I've ever baked. But, but you know, maybe one of these days. One of these days. We'll do Mamun. Yeah, no, not Magmo. It's Magmo board. It's Magmo board. But yeah, I just had some ramen. Beans uh, was getting some rum, some rams, some rams for his throat, his sore throat. It was really good. Uh, I didn't even finish mine because I knew that it would make my throat phlegmy, and here we are, <laughs> phlegmy throat. <clears throat> so you might hear me do that a lot. The <clears throat> you gotta try it. It was super good. Oh man, the one in uh, there's a place called Goldilocks. It's like a Filipino bakery. Um, that's where I usually get my Filipino sweets. There's one in my area. Well, not really, but like in in like the wider area. I could maybe I should get some mocha mamon there. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How how y'all doing? I didn't do my intro, right? So, hi everyone. I'm Bubinko Bear, artist, historian, art historian, and Sunbear PNG tuber. And today we are drawing. The past two days we've been looking at art. Now we're gonna be making art. <clears throat> Damn, it's really phlegmy. Let me let me take a sip of my Mazona, my Arizona iced tea. <clears throat> Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're we're drawing today, uh, and what I'm thinking is I do. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether to make it just like a solo drawing thing. I was thinking of like you know I was inspired by Baba Nana yesterday, right? Like oh maybe I should do like some MS Paint. 
uh, animal sketches, right? Uh, and then I, I tried it out when I when I had some dead time at work. I was uh, I work from home today, but I had some I had some like it was a pretty busy day. But when I didn't have like you know uh, crises to respond to and whatnot, I was watching streams and I was doodling. I tried it out on MS Paint and like it it is it is pretty doable. But I was like, you know what? I kind of like the smoothness of Magma Board a little bit more. Just the way that their brushes work. So that's why I was like, ah, let's do Magma Board. Let's see if we can make it a collaborative thing with, with the Babine Cubs, with all of y'all. You guys are free to join and leave as you wish, you know, as is as is tradition. Uh, but I also just like how their brushes work. I don't know. So we're just going to try it out for today. Um, I remember I, I did do Magma Board before uh, on my... Well, for one, it was the collab with May Shark, which was a pretty good collab, right? I really liked it. Um, uh-oh, I got a burp. <laughs> but there was also on my birthday, on my birthmas, uh, we, it was also my, like, affiliate celebration, right? So, uh, we did a magma board, and I remember being so paranoid that, like, oh, it's gonna be, like, you know, you guys remember, like, when you were in, uh, <laughs> did any of you guys do, like, Zoom classes, uh, where you, uh, you know, <laughs> you guys remember the term Zoom bombing? Where, like, someone would share the Zoom link with strangers, maybe on, on the 4chans or what have you. And then people would, like, uh, like, strangers would come into the Zoom room and, and, you know, they would say inappropriate things. They would do inappropriate things, right? So, because I worked in education at the time, there was, that was always a concern, right? That was always a concern that was like, oh, no, we're gonna get Zoom bombed. We have to make sure that we have a waiting room. We have to make sure that, like, we recognize every single name that comes through. We have to make sure that, like, we share the Zoom link very carefully. We don't share it to strangers and, you know, all that stuff. So, that's always been a concern. So, with me doing Magma Board, it's, it's very similar, right? It's like, oh, no, like, what if, what if a hater out there, what if a bear hater puts my link out into the ether and like random people come and they do like d dicks and well actually that wouldn't be so bad it'd be more so like <laughs> hate hate speech and like you know problematic symbols and stuff like that and i, I would just panic <laughs> bear aunties peanuts <laughs> little ep but other than that good okay nice nice like i said hux feel free whenever you want to rest you feel free to rest club was super cute yeah thank you <laughs> peeveness Peeveness! <laughs> so yeah, that was always a worry. But I, I, I feel like... I feel like that shouldn't be a worry for now, right? That's only if, like... <laughs> knock on wood. Knock on my desk. Like, that's only if, like, let's say, like, I don't know. A big streamer were to, like, raid into me or something. Or, like, random were to raid into me. And, like, everyone has access to the, to the magma board thing. And everyone just comes in and draws peanuts! No! <laughs> but I feel like with the audience that we have here, you know, with the regulars, that come, the Bibing Cubs, I feel like I don't have to worry, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm going to share the Magma Board link in chat shortly. The only thing, though, before I get started started, is that I've been having troubles with, uh, not my chat, not with you guys, but I haven't been able to pin comments. I don't know, like... Uh, you know, sometimes I'll go BRB to, like, go to the bathroom or, or sorry, do a bear meeting. <laughs> like, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll put in the chat, I'll put, like, oh, BRB getting soup or BRB, like, bear meeting, right? And it won't let me pin it. And it's like, oh, what if people come in and they don't know why I'm BRB, you know? So, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try and stay half an hour more than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always appreciate you joining in. I feel like they would just draw an orb. Yeah, that would be the best case scenario, right? If the randonites were to were to like raid in. Though the thing is, me and Randon's stream times don't align. He's always in the morning my time, and I'm in the evening my time. So unless I do a morning stream, I don't think that's a, a possibility. But that's also okay because I like I like the audience we have. Yes, a lot of the Babine Cubs are randonites, right? But we also got some random folks too. We got some folks who are like. Bear tubers or fans of bear tubers. Hello, HDTQW5. Hello, hello. Speaking of randonites, right? <laughs> hello, space chaser. Hello, hello. And thank you for the invite to the to that one uh, place that you invited me to. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I have thought of. I, I have done morning streams before. You summoned them. I did. <laughs> I have done morning streams before. 
Um, but they, I've been kind of eepy. And it was like a special occasion, right? Like the, the bear train was a special occasion. Did Bink join? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I saw you there. Yeah, I saw you there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's not like a public thing to to announce, I won't I won't say anything more. But yeah, yeah, it's a fun little community. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> sorry. Oh my throat. <laughs> oh no! When I said sorry, Siri activated. So <laughs> yeah, don't worry about my throat. It's just because I drink a lot of ramen. <laughs> I just guzzled it. <laughs> But okay, let, let's get into it, shall we? Let, let's let's get right into it. Uh, let's go to the main screen. There we go. Okay, so we're here on magma board. I'm gonna put teachers dying. No, I'm not dying. I just had a big lunch. <laughs> Does that happen for you guys? That like when you eat something that's really oily or really spicy, your throat gets kind of phlegmy. Like, I thought that was something that always happened because like it happens to my mom. And I don't think that's actually a thing that happens to other people. <laughs> I put out the signal to May. Aww. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, uh, let's set this out. I'm gonna put the, the magma link in the chat. And I'm gonna try to pin it. If I can't for any reason. No, I can't pin it! Why aren't I able to pin it? <laughs> uh, maybe if I do this. Okay, there we go. It works. I had to go to my Twitch like tab on Chrome. The pin it. It doesn't work through OBS. I don't know what's up. Hi, Zako. Magma board's like the rock stuff. Exactly. No, Magma board is like a collaborative uh, drawing uh, website. So if you join the link, yeah. See, we we already got some people there. <laughs> Wait, why are you under my name? Why is there some? Oh no. Wait, yeah. Why is it say Vavinka Bear? That's not me. Do we have an imposter in our midst? <laughs> How mysterious. We have Space Chaser. I see Space Chaser there. But I'm Babinka Bear. Oh no. <laughs> what could this mean? How mysterious. Kudiketa. Welcome, welcome. Get your scratch and sniff a sticker. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jail. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah, feel free to join. I don't know why someone has my name. <laughs> Two teachers! Please identify yourself, or else you'll be put to jail. <laughs> real Babinko Bear? No, I'm the real Babinko Bear! What a, what a travesty. <laughs> Two teachers! Yeah, join the link. Uh, I see Matthew, I see Matthew. Oh wait, did you name yourself a Binko Bear? Is that what is that what's going on? <laughs> Cause I, I was like, oh, it has to be attached to your to your account, right? And I'm like, wait, you could just name yourself whatever. Hmm. Detention. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and erase all that. The substitute is taking over. Oh no. Hello, Vite Height. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're gonna do some collaborative drawing today. Uh, I wanted to focus on doing some animal, some animal studies. So, uh, if you don't erase it, I'm gonna erase it myself. <laughs> Mavinka Bear number two. <laughs> um, so here's here's the dealio. I have uh, I have some references on my. Uh, yeah, let's go detention. <laughs> no, <laughs> real bingo burr. Real bingo go burr. <laughs> But yeah, 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 yeah. You could rename yourself to Bingo Bird. That's also <laughs> that's also something. So yeah, if you guys have never done Magma Board before, it's a collaborative drawing website. So if you if you click the link that is currently pinned, you can join in, and then you can experiment with all of the tools on this side over here on the left side. Go ahead and carve out a little spot for yourself. So for example, I should have done this ahead of time. Wait, wait, wait. I know how to do this. Shift. Go ahead and carve out a little like spot for yourself like i don't know i don't want to have to like put you guys in in little corners <laughs> like one of you has to use just this corner <laughs> but yeah just carve out a little spot for yourself and we're gonna do some some animal studies uh i'm gonna how about i, I go over here 
There you go. This is gonna be my spot. You guys stay in your spots, okay? <laughs> the naughty corner, no. And yeah, so uh, what we're gonna do is it's... I call it like animal studies, but it's really just the... Uh, Zako, you were the... <laughs> were you the, the, the bingo burr? <laughs> it's okay. Utah. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Utah. What I mean by animal studies is we're just gonna we're just gonna look at references. We're gonna look at something to draw, essentially. And for today, we're gonna focus on animals. Um, I prepared a whole pure ref. Oh, won't let you erase it. I think I know why. Is it this part? Oh no, that's me. This part? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Double click to own this layer. I don't want to own this layer. That's your layer. <laughs> do you want me to try and erase it for you? Or do you want me to make you a new, uh, a new layer? <clears throat> Let me see. Well, yeah, that's the, that's the cool thing with Magma Board is that, like, you can't, you can't infringe on other people's, uh, drawings. So I can't erase this. Um, but it's okay with you. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess they're jumping. Erase it for me. I like the number three. Okay. <clears throat> uh, own layer. There we go. How do I select? There we go. And then can I assign layer to... There we go. To Zako. There you go. <clears throat> Yeah, now you have ownership of that layer again. Magma board is weird for my tablet or maybe vice versa. Like there's a weird delay. Oh no. Hmm. You can also try hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not super sure because uh I know that there's also weird delay for me as well. If it isn't too troublesome, then you know, keep on keep on keeping on, you know? <clears throat> Sorry, let me clear my throat. Okay, uh, but yeah, I'd say like just just uh, do your best with it. And if you guys need more room, there is also another page here. If you click on this other page, you can also go there if you want. But there's also plenty of room here on the first page. You guys are really <laughs> settling your land over here. <laughs> there's a barbed wire fence and everything. <laughs> but yeah, um, hopefully it works out. <clears throat> If not, we're, we're just going to do our best, right? So, all right, here's what we're going to do. Um, I have a whole bunch of references on my end. It's all different bears. But what you can do is if you guys just want to go ahead and go to Google, uh, type in an animal of your choice, right? It doesn't have to be a bear. You could also just use the reference that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be drawing this little sun bear here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to observe it. We're just going to observe our reference for a little bit. Um, Oh, nice. You guys are marking it with land, with uh, with flags. <laughs> uh, and then basically just draw it out. Uh, I did put some tips over here. I'd say start by using some basic shapes. Uh, big oh, I misspelled it. <laughs> for big features like the head and body. And then refine and add details like for our marking. So what I mean by that is like, uh, let, let's do a sample real quick. Let me do a sample. Uh, let me erase... Erase this so that I can make my my land a little bit bigger. Wah. This is the teacher's. I oh, know it should be inside, right? Teacher. Teacher spot. There we go. <laughs> oh lord, he's sitting. <laughs> Uh, and here's the thing, you can also zoom in. I'm just gonna zoom in on my end. So just as a quick, quick sample, we're not gonna be going this fast at all. We, we, we have some time to like, you know, play around with it. But, you know, if we're, if we're drawing this little sun bear, this sun bear over here, you know, I would, I would use like circles for the head, maybe like an overall like rounded square for the body. Do circles for like, arms and legs oh wait 
And every time, try to always go back to your reference, right? If you're ever uncertain, go back to your reference. But at the same time, don't ever feel like... Don't ever feel like you have to do like a one-to-one -one perfect recreation of your reference, right? There's a little bit of freedom for you to kind of just do your own thing as well. Okay, you see how I'm like using those circles? I'm adding features like the little feet. As you can see, I have some overlapping lines, but that's what the eraser is for, right? And I know that some of you are more comfortable with doing what's called contour drawings, where you do, uh, you know, you do something like this, where you're looking more at like the outline of the animal and trying your best to follow that. That's also fine if that's your personal preference. Uh, I personally just like doing the, the shapes method because it helps build a little bit of structure uh, before you get into it. Oh, hello, Kurodaya. Hello, welcome, welcome. We're doing a little bit of magma board. She doesn't know chat. <laughs> Are you guys in this chat or what? <laughs> what, what don't I know? <laughs> Also, I broke my tablet last year, so I'm doing mouse. Yeah, that's that's totally fine, too. I believe, Vitehide, are you also using mouse? Because I know that's the usual thing for... Uh... She didn't see it? I'm dead? <laughs> what didn't I see? Oh, my God. <laughs> Amogus. She doesn't know, neither do I. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I, I would recommend, like, trying to construct some shapes. But, like I said, if, if you personally prefer doing what's called contour, you can do that as well. And it doesn't have to be, like, a one-to-one, -one, you know, perfect recreation. You have some room to, to like, put in your own style. But, yeah, uh, who would come in? Uh, Kurodaya, if you're, <laughs> if you're familiar with Magma Board, uh, the link to the Magma Board is pinned. You can go ahead and just uh, click on that link if you want to join us. If not, it's totally okay. If you want to just sit, watch, and vibe, also t perfectly fine. And if you don't know what Magma Board is, I, I'm happy to provide some tutorials. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give a sample before we get straight into it. And I see, I think I see that people are already kind of getting into it. I see like Space Chasers doing what looks like a burb. I am indeed a, a mouse maestro. I don't have enough USBs or HDMIs to borrow my wife's tablet. No problem. No problem. Yeah, feel free to join. Yeah, the link should be pinned. So if you go all the way to the top of the chat, you should see where it says magma.com. You can join in. Everyone kind of carved out some uh, some little spots for themselves, but feel free. There's still all this space right here, all this space. Totally up to you. We're not looking for perfection, by the way. We're looking for your creativity. We're, we're just vibing. We're just vibing. I found the eraser. Let's go. <laughs> Guy online, please refresh my mouse skills. Uh, but yeah, so now that we've gone over that. Oh, look, so cute. If you guys want to take a look at some of the tools that might uh, that might help you out. On uh, this left side over here, we have some tools. So move would be uh, to move like your own layer. So if I use it on just my layer, look, see, I'm moving all this around. Uh, Control Z is to undo, as with a lot of art programs. You have your selection tools. This one's pretty cool. Have you guys ever looked at lasso selection? Um, let's see, did I? Ooh, what happened? <gasps> no me. Thank you for the five months. Hello, hello. We're doing some magma board if you want to join in. No pressure if not. Uh, but yeah, I was going through all of the tools here on magma board. Lasso selection's pretty cool. I think this is the... Oh no, this one is just a... Uh, you You can use your cursor to like, uh, I don't know, select a certain part of your, of your layer. And then you can like move it around and such. There's another tool that I thought was really cool. It's this one. Have you guys seen this tool? It's right under the bucket tool. What's it called? Lasso brush. If you use lasso brush, take a look at this. I'm going to draw like uh, an apple. Uh, but I guess it's black for some reason. So <laughs> it, it kind of follows your your cursor in a way. I don't know. Experiment with it a little bit. Experiment. Uh, you also got the pencil tool, the brush tool. If you ever need to color pick something, you can use the color pick um, tool. But I believe you can also just, if you click on Alt on your keyboard, if you click Alt, 
uh, it will automatically do the uh, the color picker. And then there's the eraser. There's text. There's shapes. The shapes tool is interesting because you don't just get basic shapes either. You also get some like whatever this is. <laughs> you get like buildings and stuff. So do do with that as you will. Uh, if you need any help with your layers, like if for whatever reason your layer isn't erasing anymore, just let me know. I'm, I'm glad to fix it. But otherwise, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get to drawing some some animals, shall we? I already got started with this with the sun bear. It was erased layer. Oh no! Remember the <laughs> remember the uh, the what you call it? <laughs> your control Z. No, I think you got it. I think you got it. But yeah, hello, hello. If I missed anyone in chat. Uh, yeah, feel free to join in if you want, but if, if not, if you just want to chill, completely understandable. Okay, let's get back into this sun bear that I drew. Um, I kind of just drew him to drew him, but now let's actually take a good, take a good look at each of his features. Look at that face. Not a single thought in that face. <laughs> And if you if you need any help, just just yell out, Miss Teacher, Miss Teacher. The sun bears have like a like a interesting ridge at the top of their heads. They're the heads themselves are kind of like apple shaped too. Now that I think about it, is there a hotkey for a race? Is it E? Yeah, it's E. He's so perfectly rotund. He really is. And then B for brush. Yeah, okay, yeah. The hotkeys can also help you with like really like going between your erase and your brush tool. Another useful tool, uh, press spacebar. That's going to turn your cursor into a hand and you could just move around. Apple. <laughs> no, I'm not an apple. I'm a bear. Okay, uh, let's see. Got that face of his. I made it a little too wide, but you know what? That's fine. Because cause he really is perfectly rotund. You can zoom in, too. You can zoom in if that helps with your lines. Hi, May Shark. Hello, hello. We're doing a little bit of magma board. The last time I did magma board, it was with you. Oh my god, I just realized. Look at the snout. It's an Amoogus. <laughs> May Shark, if you want to join... Feel free, no pressure if you don't want to, no pressure, but you also want to join the magma board. Oh my god, look. <laughs> I can make it look like he's drooling. The link is uh, is pinned. So if you just look at the pinned uh, comment, you can access it. But also, like I said, no pressure. Everything is a mug. He saw foods. Can never escape Omugus. It's true. Though the, the new thing with the kiddos is Skibbity, right? Well, even now that I say that, I think Skibbity has fallen out of favor with the youngins. They no longer... They no longer crave the Skibbity. It's old news, right? Old news, old man. Old bear. He's just a little weepy. <laughs> Sag. <laughs> oh, the ad starts in about a minute. It's okay. There's there's no snoozes. We're we're just gonna let the ad play. But yeah, like I said, when you guys uh look at your reference, it is you know supposed to be used as a reference, but also don't don't feel too bad if it's not like a one to one, uh recreation. You can take some liberties. Like for example, you can't see the other ear in this reference, but I'm just gonna add it here. Add some some <laughs> sunbears are also very wrinkly. Have you guys noticed that? <laughs> like if I wanted if I wanted my model to be more true to life, I would just be super wrinkly. Hydrate while adding. You got it. I think the ad will start soon. Should I make the eyes bigger, like more kawaii? <laughs> no one looks like he's seen some shit. You're wrinkly because you're old? I'm not that old. Oh, 
Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> so mean to teacher, I know. Keep that up, you're gonna you guys are gonna get detention. And and when I say that I'm it's a collective punishment, you're all getting detention. Oh yeah, look, there's some uh, pectoral muscles here. Did I do that? Not detention. <laughs> Sucko. Real bingo bro gives you detention. Oh, okay, the ad break, the ad break. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, take a, a Wawa break while the ads are running. This is wrongful punishment. <laughs> Are we doing the same animal or different ones? <clears throat> um, it's up to you. You could do different. You could do the same. I think a couple folks are doing the same. Oh wait, let me let me take a water break first. You got the champurado stick. Oh no, my water, my water pressed the button. Okay, there. <clears throat> Got your scratch and sniff with stickers. <clears throat> Ad break ended, your community's back. Cool. Yeah, May Shark, uh, you could do whichever animal you want. I think I'm just noticing that like other people are doing their own uh other people are doing the sun bear that I'm doing, which is totally fine, right? You can do that too. Aww, cute! Cute, cute. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! <laughs> Wait a minute. What kind of animal is that? <laughs> well, as long as you're drawing from observation, it's fine, right? <laughs> a hydrated babink is a healthy babink. <laughs> Why would you spray me? It's technically a dog. Well, you're right, you're right. See, I like that. I like when uh, when I have uh, students IRL <laughs> that are like, you know, they they give you that moment of like, okay, okay, you're right, you know, you're right. You gotta navigate the system, you see. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. See at look at the arms. You got pretty fleshy, fleshy arms. Brush. And then the arm actually juts out from there. Okay. <laughs> God, he looks like a zombie bear. Poor guy. Oh, and you know what? I realize he has a little bit of like a... Uh, not a hump, but it's like a little bit of volume to the arm here. There we go. Sunbridge just kind of <laughs> kind of looks zombie-ish sometimes. What's up with that? <laughs> I I don't know, man. <laughs> Us sun bears, we we just we just seen some shit, you know. <laughs> Dude, I do that so I can draw Randon in class. Technically, he has a face, so I can use him for my portraiture stuff. There you go. There you go. I didn't spend my childhood in a corporal building to not know how to skirt the rules. There you go. More power to you. The link went poof? No! The link did go poof. Okay. I think... I think it's just the URL itself. So let me put that back up there. I wonder why it went poof. Oh, you know what? It's because I accidentally put like a time limit. Okay. There we go. It should stay pinned. Let me just test it out. Yeah, it looks like that works. Okay. It's like rabbits and hares. Rabbits are soft. Hair hares are rabbits with PTSD. <laughs> exactly. You didn't specify you wanted a human face. That's so free game. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You just gotta know how to skirt the rules. And and you, you don't worry about <laughs> sun bears looking zombified. That's just how they look. Before this, I was looking for references, right, for sun bears, and it's funny because like the top uh, Google, what's it called? Uh, oh, Mega Bronson. Hello, thank you for the five months, Poggers. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, if you want to draw with us, Mega Bronson, feel free. Uh, there is a magma board link. It should be pinned in the chat. But if you also just want to chill and watch, also totally fine. Yeah, when you look up uh, Sun Bears, the top result is that one Chinese zoo that got accusations that it's like, that's not a bear, that's just a person in a bear suit. And it looks pretty convincing, right? It does in fact look like a person in a bear suit, but I swear it's not. Mushy Bear, you got the Taho sticker. Hello, hello. They're definitely not wanting your brain trust them. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> I prefer fruit. I prefer fruit and uh, termites and <laughs> thousand. Hello, hello. You got Lechplan. Woo! Yeah, for everyone entering in, we're just doing a little magma board where we draw animals. These are animal studies. I feel like I'm overdoing it now. I feel like I was kind of okay when I was just sketching it out. And now the more I like add to it, the more I'm like, eh. <laughs> Yippee! I'm finally awake early. Nice, nice. I hope you got enough rest though. Because while waking up early is is nice, you know? As long as you get enough rest. And yeah, uh, for the people that are coming in and joining the magma board, if there's not enough space, there is a second page. Um, but also, I, it looks like there's still a good amount of space on the first page too. I slept at 4 a.m. So five to six hours is good. Okay, cool. As long as you feel well rested. Even though I do try to aim for for eight hours, sometimes it just doesn't happen. I feel like seven hours is what my body has naturally kind of like turned to. <laughs> what? Time is it? Why? Why? Are, why are we quizzing Hux? <laughs> Quick Hux. <laughs> Name every time zone. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna shorten the claw here. Three AM. <laughs> oh, what time is it there? I see, I see. <laughs> so what is the universal time right now? Have you guys seen those tweets that are like, oh you like blank? Well list blank. <laughs> Oh, you like math? List every number. <laughs> there was one for Star Wars. There was like, oh, you like Star Wars? The Clone Wars? Name every clone. And someone actually did. <laughs> someone actually did name every single clone. 3 a.m., that's peak nighttime. Mm -hmm. you, had a na you had a nap? You like Led Zeppelin's? <laughs> list four albums. I can list every number. <laughs> I don't like math. <laughs> There's everything uh, within infinity and e everything that's not a part of infinity. Boom. Easy. Oh, you like art history? Name all art. Uh, uh, Venus of Villendorf. <laughs> Hieronymus Bosch. <laughs> that's the level of autism I strive for. I look it up. I think someone did, like, name every single clone from the Star Wars, like series <laughs> including the bad batch oh, siri keeps activating Dovinky? there you go exactly uh, okay i haven't added any color yet if you guys are finished with your animal by the way feel free to keep on going with more i actually have a whole bunch of you guys want to see all the the references i have because i have this one sun bear but look i wanted to get each of the eight Bear species. You guys want to see? Uh, let's see. We have sun bears here in the center because they're the best bears. This is my favorite picture of a sun bear. Look. Snorf. <laughs> this is what I look like when I eat. Snorf. There are only eight types of bears. Kinda. Those are like the, the major bear species. But banana, hello, hello. <laughs> We're doing magma board if you want to join in. If not, it's okay. It should be uh, pinned in the chat. Someone is making a mecha? Yeah. I'm aware. <laughs> Space Chaser, you got your, your sticker as well. Yeah, that's a certified Zako uh, work right there. She's making a... <laughs> it's still an animal. It's a it's a scope dog. <laughs> mecha Bronson, you got the Turon sticker. 
Yeah, so there's eight major species of bears, but there's e exactly Vite height. Exactly. There's a whole bunch of like minor, like not minor, but like subspecies as well. Like um, the black bear, for example. This is the black bear. This is the American black bear. But there's a whole bunch of like subspecies as well. Like there's like the Kodiak bear. Like the, it's a type of brown bear. Um, there's like the glacier bear, which I think Mushi, are you a glacier bear or was it Jiro? I forgot. But like someone is a glacier bear. Uh, there's a glacier bear VTu uh, VTuber. Um, and glacier bears are, I think, a subset of black bears, but their fur is very silvery. It's almost like a blue silver. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, we got we have black bears here. There's the American black bear. There's the brown bear. The one thing with brown bears is that they have a little hump. They got a little hump on their uh, on their uh, their back over here. Um, this this cool guy is the spectacle bear. Fun fact: you guys know um, Paddington, Paddington Bear, or as I like to call him, Chaddington, Chaddington Bear. He's an uh, he's this he's a spectacle bear. They are the only bear that is native to the Americas, South America specifically. Wait, not Americas, just South America. <laughs> just South America. Because in North America, you get like the grizzly, you get the black bear. And then you get the moon bear. There's a moon bear. No, wait, is this a moon bear? Bless you, beans. Um, bless you, beans. Paddington, that guy owes me five bucks. <laughs> bless you, beans. <laughs> um wait what is this oh this is a guys look at this one <laughs> this is uh i believe a moon i'm mixing them up now yeah there's a moon bear there's a moon bear so this is a moon bear it's like a sun bear but fluffier oh you know what jiro is a moon bear i think mushi is the one who's a glacier bear um vite height is a kodiak bear there's a whole bunch of bear VTubers that you guys should check out, by the way. But he likes marmalade. <laughs> so this, this is a, a moon bear. They have the same marking as a sun bear, but they're fluffier. They're, they're super fluffy. And then this is a subspecies of the moon bear called a golden moon bear. It kind of looks like a lion. How do I lasso? Look over to the uh, left side. Uh, it should be... Pucky L or this symbol. It should be one, two, three, fourth symbol from the, the, the top. The golden moon bear is interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's not to be confused with we have what's called a sloth bear. These guys are super fluffy. The way that you can tell them apart is that like they're both fluffy, but sloth bears have fluffier ears. I forgot where these guys are from. I want to say India. I want to say the Indian subcontinent. Look at, look at them. Look at them. <laughs> They're so cute. Then we got the polar bear. That's pretty, uh, you know, that was pretty iconic. Native to the Arctic regions. They're the biggest land carnivore, I believe. They're super mad. They're also the biggest species of bear. Sun bears are the smallest, by the way. And then we got the panda. We got the panda. Those are also pretty iconic. I'm going to show you one more before I get back into drawing. There's actually... Did you guys know that there's a subspecies of panda called the chinling panda sorry let me just paste it i'm gonna paste it here look look at it it's a mocha panda it's a panda but it's mocha colored <laughs> So yeah, isn't that cute? There's a whole bunch of different subspecies. It's really, really cute. So yeah. <laughs> Literally why it's called the Arctic region. Yeah, did you guys know that? Ar Arctic comes from... I don't remember if it's Greek or Latin, but it's the, the root of it. Arcturus means bear. It's a macchiato panda. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so when you guys finish your lines, you can feel free to also color it in. Uh, but I kind of want to jump to the next, uh, the next reference. But you guys keep on, you guys keep on keeping on. You guys do what you want. Because I do like, uh, kind of demonstrating the whole thing with, like, using shapes. Using shapes to kind of, uh, construct your, your form, I guess. 
So I'm going to use a circle, like a rounded circle here for the head. Let's zoom in more. I love this. <laughs> I love his face. Look at him. Not a single thought. <laughs> Not a single thought in that head of his. Another kind of big circle potato shape. Need some big old lips like that. That guy just woke up. <laughs> oh, where would the references be? Um, you could just look it up yourself. I think some people are using the reference that I have on screen, but you know, feel free if you want to pick another animal. Feel free to just Google it. Um, you know, there's not really any restrictions. I mean, as you can see, we even got some mechas <laughs> in the bottom there. But whichever animal you want to, to do. Um, I think some people are also doing freehand, like without a reference, which is also totally fine. But uh, for me, what the, the point of today was to kind of just get better at observing, using references, that kind of thing. So completely up to you. That guy just woke up. <laughs> he did. I wonder if I can like... If I can like capture that look of like, huh? I love how big the snout is in comparison to the rest of his head. Remember, he's got that kind of apple, apple-shaped head. Another thing I kind of like about sun, that I'm noticing from doing the study of a sun bear is that their ears are not up here. Their ears are like to the side almost. Especially because this guy, like the ears are a little bit more down. Because if you look at a black bear, here's one, another way to, um, there's a whole bunch of infographs of, of how to tell apart a grizzly bear, a brown bear and a black bear because one of them is I guess safer to encounter in the wild <laughs> and because they have a little bit of overlap with where they live so uh, if you encounter a black bear um, you could potentially just like scare it off by being loud but the grizzly you do not want to fuck with that like that is the one where you want to like play dead you want to be as non-threatening as possible because they will kick your ass they will kill you <laughs> So do not fuck with a with a grizzly bear. This one doesn't I'm not necessarily saying like you can fuck with this guy, but like because they're small and because they're a little more like docile unless they're starving or defending their young. Uh yeah, if you encounter any kind of mama bear by the way, do not fuck with them. <laughs> do not fuck with a mama bear. I mean it. Um but if it's just like a young guy over here that's just kind of scrounging for food, you could potentially just like yell at them and be like, hey, get away, get away, get away, blah, 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 blah. And you have to like make yourself big, right? But no matter what, like do not fuck with these guys. And the way that you can recognize them is for one, the uh, brown bears have this hump. You see that hump on their back? Uh, black bears do not. They're a little bit more friendshaped. <laughs> Another thing is the ears. Especially for the young ones. Look at the ears on this black bear. Look at that. They stick out. They stick like almost like 45 degrees. These guys too, but their ears are more round. This one is a little bit longer. I don't know if you guys see what I mean. <laughs> if you encounter a polar bear in the wild, that would be the final thing you encounter in your life. Unfortunately, yeah. So you know how I keep on saying, you know, don't fuck with a grizzly bear. Um, don't fuck with a polar bear. Don't. Why even go to the Arctic, really? Like, unless unless you're some kind of, like, nature person and or, like, I don't know, survivalist explorer. Why even go there? I, I just wouldn't risk it. <laughs> I wouldn't risk it for the biscuit. Um, but also, yeah, grizzlies and black bears, you, there is a chance that you can encounter them, right? Um, one thing with black and brown bears, by the way, is don't try to escape them by climbing in a tree. They're pretty good at climbing, so don't, don't try it. <laughs> But also the thing, the thing with most bears is also like, they're more scared of people than, uh, than people are scared of them. So if you just scare them off with loud noises, they, they, sh you know, you should be fine. If not friends, why friend shape? Good point. <laughs> Forget everything I said. Go hug them. No, don't, don't, don't. 
<laughs> what if he just needs a hug? Oh, if the bear hugs you, it's over. It's Jover. <laughs> the F word in the context of non-relationship, a more <laughs> throwing hands kind of thing. Exactly, May Shark. Mama bears and grizzlies do not fuck with. All, all other bears are prankable. No, don't do it. Don't prank us. <laughs> Teacher is a bear, we're fucking dead. <laughs> most bears just want an easy meal. If they're outside their territory, most will back down pretty easily. Yeah, see, Bite Height, a fellow bear, has like all the good tips. And you could totally listen to us. You can totally listen to me and Bite Height. We speak <laughs> on behalf of the bears, but we <laughs> we're not trying to lure you into any traps or anything. In fact, what you should do is if you if you have like a good meal, but you feel a little too full, why not just throw it in the garbage? Why not throw the garbage in the woods and, you know, just uh, go about your day after that, you know? I'm thinking, you, you know, <laughs> if you're hungry, they're hungry. <laughs> Miss Teacher said we can hug you, so can we hug you platonically? Yeah, you can hug me. <laughs> the only bear we encounter here are gummy bears. I didn't get mauled. I mean, my house may be trapped, but I'm not trying to lure anyone into it. True, true, true. No, yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, you don't even have to lure anyone into the bear den. Uh, just throw a throw a bag of food at us, and we'll we'll be happy. <laughs> I forgot who it was that said it, but wasn't it like there's a fair amount of overlap? Um, like when you go hunting? Oh, no, not hunting. When you go camping um, and you dispose of your food, the way that they design their uh, garbage contraptions and the garbage holders, their trash cans, apparently there's like a huge overlap between the smartest of bears and the dumbest of people. So... <laughs> So, you know, tread carefully. Tread carefully. <laughs> okay, let me... Let me move this one a little bit up. No, what did I do? Clipboard permission denied. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, move. There we go. Okay, it's getting a little warm in my room, so I'm just gonna BRB for a sec to close the window and uh, turn on the fan. So BRB, you keep you guys keep on drawing. Oh my gosh, it's already summer in Barifornia. <laughs> I was just complaining that, like, well, not complaining, but I was, I forgot who I was talking to. It was either a coworker or, or a family member where I was like, it's been so cold for so long. It feels like this winter has been, like, extended. And now, and now I'm eating my words. It's like I'm eating the tasty garbage that you guys are leaving in. <laughs> I sure, I sure you're your doorstep <laughs> dumb people prankable smart bears not prankable yeah it's not even three digits yet i think my room is just really warm bane of my existence yeah i'm not looking forward to that okay she's eating your trash <laughs> laugh at her hey man people throw away lots of perfectly good food I'm not a garbage, you know, like, explorer person. I'm talking from experience. I am the person that has once or twice not finished their food. Probably the computer's heating up the room. Probably. Let me... I want to... Do, 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 do make the eye a little bit more visible here there you go 
And the thing with with us sun bears is that we got big old claws. It's not used for swiping at people. No swiping. Babinka, no swiping. It's used to actually dig up roots and bugs. Dumpster diving in Gen Alpha can mean a different thing. Really? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw this emote. Swip. <laughs> Profussy dump truck. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, give me give me a second. Okay, I do not want to know what that means. <laughs> not the dumpy diving. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like this. Kind of like uh, like it's floating. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys are so detailed. Aw, cute. Got yeah, Orby chilling with a with a sun bear. I love this dog. <laughs> I love the expression. Wait, is it a dog? <laughs> the snout reminds me of it. Sad Peaky oh no. Why so sad? Mine is uh, is least detail. It's okay. It's okay. We're not looking for like you know one to one recreations. Oh cool, cool, cool. Oh, I love. Oh my gosh, the digital brush strokes on this are amazing. Face chaser, so cool! And I love your your name on here, Yellow Platypus. Is that you, uh, Kurodaya? It's a palm! I love palms. <laughs> I love the expression. Have you seen that one uh, meme? I'm, I'll draw it here, but... The one meme of like, I love when dogs do the thing, and it's like, you know, here's, here's a dog. That was a terrible dog, here you go. Where they do this. And the eyes just like like that. <laughs> drew a water bear. Yeah, the best bear. It's a water bear. I guess I forgot about the most important one, right? The water bear. The tidegrade. <laughs> it is yellow platypus my old Discord name for a while, so Magma remember. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that dog, the side eye. Exactly. Let me erase it. I know, Baba Nana, you did it in such a short time. I love that. Oh my god, it's in space! It's in space because it can survive the vacuum of space. And it's the last place. What was what's that quote by Tim Curry? The last place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. <laughs> oh, I love the little bear over here. It I love the expression of just like yay. <laughs> and yet. Oh, said Pinky. I do like the the way that you do the soft shading. I'm assuming is this Nomi? Because I know Nomi, you uh, you love the piggies, right? You got the scope dog. That's so detailed. <laughs> You're are you drawing from uh from observation? Cause that's that's so incredible. Live fast, die never. Exactly. Oh no, my screen. Okay, there. I love your soft shading, Nomi. And then super duper detailed tardigrade. We have the super duper detailed scope dog. We have the the strokes here. I really like the colors you use too. Oh hello hello Robbie hello thanks for getting your sticker. We're currently drawing on magma board. If you want to join in, the link is pinned in the chat. But if not, if you just want to chill, lurk, and see uh, see what's going on, no problem. And then Vite Height. I love the expression on this. It's a seal, right? It looks like it reminds me of a seal. I has a bucket. That space bear is crazy. It's true. It's true. 
I love that everyone has their like own unique style. Like I can kind of tell like who's using like a, a hard brush, uh, who's using like the soft brushes. You're doing a whole landscape here, Matthew. I love it. Very cool. Let's see. What kind of colors can I add? The walrus bucket meme. Oh my god, is it? Is it the that one meme? Wait, walrus bucket. Oh my god, it is. I what's that one meme? It was older. It was it was like on nine gag. It was the seal that looks like all awkward. I'm done because Goose Knight. Oh yeah, no problem. Thanks for joining, Zako. I was live for like 11 hours. I need to eat. Be. Go eat. Go eat. And thank you for joining. I appreciate it. I love it. Scope Dog Light. Yeah, good night, Zako. Good night. Yeah, thanks for lurking. I love it. I love it. Oh, you even wrote that here. I was live for 11 hours. Good night. Yeah, Goose Knight. Good night, good night. Um, let's see. Call it people call it a walrus, but it's a sea lion. Note the lack. That's what I thought too, because walruses have the um have the tusks. Do you guys remember? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a meme on on my uh my ref sheet over here. You guys remember this this meme? At first glance, I thought like, oh, is it this guy? <laughs> It's an old, old meme. It's one of the nine gag memes. But I realize it's another meme, right? <laughs> you love that meme? Yeah. You might goose night too. Yeah, Hux, thank you for joining. Thank you, thank you for joining. I always appreciate when you drop by. What the meme means Armor Trooper made class 09 is uh, the number mech it is. And Elsie is light custom. Nice. Now sleep. Yeah, good night. Good night, Zako. We have that little guy's an emote in the Discord. Oh, you're right. You're right. Goose Knight. Yeah, good night, Hugs. Good night, Zako. I gotta draw a toucan and dash. I'm gonna uh, hang with my sister. Yeah! Thanks for stopping by, Space Chaser. Thank you, thank you. Need to go prepare for stuff. I'm glad I stopped by because I know I missed a bunch of streams. Life busy. No worries, Nomi. Never feel pressured. And this goes to everyone, too. Like, never feel pressured to, like... You know, it's not like a real class where it's like, I'm marking down your attendance. You know? <laughs> It's totally okay to miss some streams, live your life, and all of that. It is nice when you guys stop by, but it's not a requirement. I, 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 I love, I love you guys as is. <laughs> so yeah, take care, everybody. There's no attendance. That's my secret, Captain. There was never attendance. Attendance was never a thing. All right, let's do some color studies, shall we? She loves us. Yeah, of course. Let's do some color study. Um, usually I one layer it when it comes to magma board, but you know what? Let's do another layer. I'm going to put it under. There we go. Yeah, you guys uh, feel free to keep on drawing. If any of you do have to leave, no worries at all. Do any of you guys have, have, like, your own methods for- Yeah, I do love you guys. I love you guys. Um, your methods for picking colors. Is there a blend tool? I don't think so, but you can also- If you go to the brushes... I don't think there's a blend tool, but you can probably, uh, kind of fake it. By doing something like this. Um, let's say that you have... It's an easy color to do. Let's do blue. Do blue. And let's do yellow. Let's say that you want green. Well, of course, you could like color pick green itself, but let's say that you want them to be a bit more blended together. Um, try to pick a color right smack dab in the middle and just kind of like put it in the middle like that, little by little. And it'll, it'll kind of like have the illusion of blending. The only thing is that you have to like adjust your colors a lot to do that. So, so I don't know if that's the, it's quite the the effect that you want. <clears throat> she loves the taste of a bean comes. No, this is slander. This is slander. You guys are slandering the teacher. You're gonna get detention if you if you keep that up. 
By the way, did any of you guys uh, tune into the Randon stream today? Where he he showed me a piece of cursed cursed imagery. It was like a, a teddy bear with very long legs. I did like a, a PNG mock-up of like what it would look like if I had if I had those legs. I decided to do monochrome blues for my meme sea line since uh, I did the lines in blue. Yeah, that's a really good strat. Oh yeah, that's what I was asking before, right? Is like, how do you guys pick your colors? Because for me, like, I, you know, there's nothing necessarily wrong with like going with color picking. You know, if you want to pick right off of the reference, nothing wrong with that, especially if you want to like do your stuff like really fast, right? But I have also been trying to make practice of just like trying to... Get the colors without color picking, if that makes sense. And uh, another reason why, like, you you might also want to practice that is because uh, then you could just <laughs> not necessarily make up colors, but you could just make up colors. Um, like, for example, the 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 bear is a bit more my reference. He's a bit more black, right? But I wanted to go for like a purple, give it a little bit of character. I think it depends on my mood, but I generally go for it via what uh, what I see. Are bugs allowed? Yeah, of course. Hello, Simei. Hello, hello. Yes. You can draw any animal you want. That includes uh, bugs. So go for it. The, um, whatchamacallit, the, the link for the magma board is, should be in the chat. It should be pinned there, and if not, you let me know. kind of want to try that technique where the highlights are just white but we'll, we'll see how that works out I don't usually do that technique because actually this whole area over here is like highlighted there we go You can also add texture as well, because I'm just kind of like blocking out some shapes. Hello, Insane Yunish. Hello, hello. We're currently doing some uh, magma board where we're drawing together using something called magma board. If you want to join in, if you look at the pinned uh, chat, the pinned comment in the chat, you can join in with us. And if you just want to chill, if you just want to, um, what's, what's it called, like lurk and watch, no problem at all. Nice, you guys got your stickers. You want to see a, a way that you can just kind of imply texture without having to like let's say that I want to give this guy like a furry texture Like you could go in and just like all over the place. You could just put like dashes here. You could do that But I think I talked about this either during art appreciation or no, I think it was yesterday. It was yesterday. Oh I ran out of uh, undos You could also just do this you could do clusters of like little dash shapes like that Like here and there and it'll also kind of like imply that uh that pattern i think i want to do it more as like there we go dashes and another thing is you can also do it like here at the edges where the highlight and the shadow meet you can you can spice up that border a little bit by doing that Add a little bit of that um, that texture to it. Oh snap! You might yeah. Feel free to join in. If there's not enough room on the first page, let's let's see how we're doing. There's still like you know someone could take up this space if they want to this. This is kind of a tiny... I, I might actually take this space. But there's this whole space right down here. There's also a second page. Oh my gosh! It's so cute! Who's drawing this bear? 
It's so cute. It's so happy. <laughs> mm, texture, exactly. I love, I love the textures. Yummy texture. Let's see. You could do that. Uh, what else do I want to do? There's a little bit of texture here. Oh my god, was I on the wrong layer? <laughs> oh, I got kicked to another layer? Oh no, I was on the wrong layer. Oopsie. It's okay. I think I can also just merge them together. It's fine. Surprise corner bear. Yeah, isn't that cute? I redid the bear on the second page. Oh, May Shark, it's you! Aww. I should have known. Look how cute it is. Cute, cute. It's so happy. <laughs> okay, let's continue with some colors. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should add like a little bit of a lighter color. Let's hue shift it. Let's try blue. Nah, let's do pink. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit more. Maybe it's like a bias that I have to making the sun bears a little bit more purple because I am a little I am a little bit more purple. Oh no, you know what? I want to experiment with this. Not making the, this whole area pink, but just like where the highlights and the shading meet. You know what I mean? Like all of these parts. What happens if I just make the border of it like a highlighted color? Or not highlighted, but like a super saturated color. An interesting effect. I don't know if I quite like it. But you know what? These streams are just to just experiment. Okay, let's also do a little bit of the, the brown area. Here? No, wait. Let me make sure I'm the I'm on the right layer. Yeah, let's do this. Oh my god, I forgot the teeth. Maybe next time bring me in a fucker tonight. I understand that. I understand. It happens to me too <laughs> where it's like ah just can't do it tonight there there's actually a lot of times where i lurk in other people's streams and like a part of me is like oh i want to i want to interact you know i want to be in chat and interact but my brain is also like eh. <laughs> not doing it today no worries no pressure oh yeah that's right wait i missed it uh sima you said that you're cleaning your room because it's holiday aid mubarak for everyone that celebrates yeah 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 aid mubarak i know my pronunciation is probably not that great but <laughs> but yeah hope everyone's celebrating congrats on getting through uh you know the fasting portion of ramadan i hope that all of the the foodums that you guys had were delicious And you did it. Yeah, Aid Mubarak. Yes, yes, yes. Also do some color here. My brain has been on a Mahabharata kick lately, and it's been a lot to take in. You know, I saw a really interesting video. Um, let me just look something up real quick. So the Mahabharata, is that the one with... With Rama? Oh no, that's the Ramayana, right? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it's it's similar to Ramayana, right? Okay, cool. But you know what's interesting? What just came on my uh, my Twitter feed recently was uh, a dance crew, an Indian dance crew. I was actually gonna post it in uh, in the Vibin Cups Discord, but I, I just forgot. I saw it during work time. Uh, but it was a dance crew that they were doing like a pretty neat dance where. Uh, wait, let me. Wait, this is my layer. Why isn't it letting me? This is my layer. Merge down layer. There you go. There was a dance crew that was like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it other than like they were kind of take. They were using a lot of uh, kind of motifs and stuff from like Indian, um, like Hindu Hindu stories. Like it was like I think four guys and they were doing like a dance routine where like at one point it made it look they made themselves look like a multi-headed figure, um, and I think they even their outfits kind of reminded me of like Kali. I don't know. It was really cool. It was really cool. Mahabharata is just a loose collection of stories. A lot of Shiva and Pandav. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know why I just started getting curious about ancient stuff. Yeah! All that stuff is just naturally interesting, right? I haven't read those those stories myself, but they've always seemed interesting. And, you know, playing... Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with, like, Fate Grand Order, but, like... <laughs> Playing games like that have also been just like super cool to to explore other cultures, explore other like stories. Yeah, when it comes to fate, sometimes they're not they don't do the most faithful recreations or like interpretations of those stories, but it's interesting nonetheless, I wanna say. Shiva, my beloved, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple things on my list, but it really grabbed me. It's such a comic book feel. Yeah, and I I have no doubt that there probably is, like, comics uh, that that tell those stories. I remember one of the first times that I heard about, uh, like, Ganesha, for example, and, and his stories were through a, a kid's storybook. Okay, I think I just need the, the pink... And I kind of want to, like, get started on drawing some more bears. Okay, I need the teeths. The teeths, they're yellow. Let's have a little tooth here. <laughs> he looks like a, a, a bear that's like, you get off my lawn. Kali's design in FGO does the justice for me. Wait, Kali and FGO? Is it, um, hmm. Kali, FGO. Whoa! Yo! Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's the Parvati design. It's, um, Sakura, right? Dang, that's cool. I should do that thing that Nomi did of like uh, <laughs> an FGO smasher pass. <laughs> I, there's just a lot of there's just a lot of characters in FGO that are like, I love you. <laughs> It's another facet of her. Ah, just like in the mythology. Someone passes on FGO. <laughs> Star Shadow Magician's work. Let me see. Oh, are they the artist? Oh, cool. Freeman Pixie, hello! Thank you for the four months! Hello, hello! We're doing some Magma Board uh, collaborative art. Feel free to join in if you want. Everyone's already done some really, really fantastic stuff. 
Oh my gosh, I like that every time I zoom out and look at everyone else's stuff, it's like, whoa, you guys added even more. <laughs> Homer Simpson, Binker Bear. Oh my gosh, Baba Nana's making an entire galaxy. But yeah, if you want to join us, feel free. The magma board is pinned in the chat. Um, but if you also want to just chill and lurk, no worries either. Drown these bears with tell everybody I'm on my way song lived in my head. I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna... I, I want to draw another bear now. I feel like I should spend some time, you know, coloring and stuff, but I don't know. I just want to draw. I just want to draw. My fur baby is screaming, so I shall shuffle off to the Mimis. Yeah, no worries, Kurodaya. Thank you for joining. Thank you for, for joining both in the chat and in the drawing. Your your drawings are really cute. I love the texture on all of it. Aw. Wait, is this is this uh the palm being gripped? <laughs> I love it. Thank you for the cozy stream and of course, thank you, thank you. And uh hopefully your your fur babies are not too fussy. I if they're anything like my my two cats, Schnackery and Gino, then <laughs> I know whenever they scream, it's it's for attention. They want the, the pet pets, right? <laughs> yeah, take care, Kurodaya. Thank you for joining. Okay, I want to draw another bear. I think I'm done drawing as well. My wrist hurt. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Thank you for drawing. Yeah, and whenever you guys want to, you know, tap out or anything, like, and just chill for the rest of the stream, no worries, no worries. So cute. I love how you both did uh, sun bears, like the same sun bear that I was doing. But I like that you guys had like kind of different takes on like how to shade and, and uh, draw it. Like I like the, the vibrant purple over here, the claws, and then over here the green with like kind of the light green. Almost like, uh, it reminds me of Deku from, <laughs> from My Hero Academia. Beautiful texture work on both. This kind of reminds me, like Matthew, your work kind of reminds me of like uh, those like Chinese ink paintings like uh, have you seen those ones where it's like huge um, landscapes of just really cool brushworks it, it kind of has that feeling I don't know why but it just does I just really like seeing everyone's style like watercolor kind of let me see if I can find like a, a reference Chinese ink landscape Ah, you know what? Yes. Copy. Let's put it over here. Let's replace the seal from 9gag. Ah, it's so big. Okay. Like, I don't know. I think it's your use of, like, um... Kind of like muted colors, muted and earthy colors. That kind of reminds me of like this style here. I ran out of space for adding random bullshit in my box, so I shall cease for tonight. Thank you, Vite Height. Let, let's see what you got here. I love it. I love your style so much. It really does remind, especially with like the Homer Simpson. <laughs> with the Homer Simpson, like I don't know. There's something about your your style that like reminds me of um. Oh, who's that one artist again? Um, artist with the fun figures. Keith Haring. Like, I don't know, something about your art also has, like, kind of a Keith Haring feel to it. It's kind of bouncy. I like it. I like it. Bites advice where detail is lacking, add humor. There you go. Randon Nurin. <laughs> I has a bucket. It is super cute too. I really like, I don't know, like something about the way that both you and Randon do like mouse art, out, art with your mouse. It's just like goaded. It has this graphic style and when I, oh, the little pollo. And when I say graphic, I don't mean graphic as in like it's violent, but like graphic as opposed to like, um, I guess naturalistic. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I like it. I like it nonetheless. Okay. 
I think I'll draw one more bear, and then we'll see if we continue streaming, or if we, like, you know, change to a, to something else like GeoGuessr. You know what? Why not? We're gonna finish off with another sun bear. Let's see. Brush, where are you? There we go. No mistakes. Happy little accidents. Yeah, I just never moved past my Bob Ross face. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, this little guy is kind of an orb if you look at him. He's holding his foot. I kind of love that. His overall shape is kind of like this. Kind of like an orb. Now, you know what? The back is a little bit more curved. And this is a little bit more flat. I'm really trying to get used to the hotkeys as well. But yeah, for everyone that kind of joined in with the with the magma board, thank you. And if you're still drawing, no rush. No rush. Because I'm still starting on my third bear. <laughs> and then if I finish and you guys still want to keep on drawing, feel free. I might do something in the background like GeoGuessr. I've been I've been getting a hankering. Is that the Votoms in the bottom right corner? If you're referring to Oh my gosh, Bavanana. Your color is amazing. <laughs> this is Scope Dog Light ATM09 LLC. This was done by um by Zako. Zako uh, does a lot of builds. <laughs> like a lot of uh gunpla um model builds. Oh my gosh, I love your color, the the neon like kind of neon-ish green with the purple. That's awesome. It, it reminds me of like sci-fi. It's like something from a comic book. Okay, let's let's draw this bear that's uh, eating their fruit. They're doing a little snorf. The ears are small back here. You see a little smidge of ear here. <laughs> you gotta have like the wrinkles. Big ol' snoot. And his- his, like, brow is kind of furrowed, like he's super, like, concentrating. What if I add some eyebrows there? <laughs> Draw some little toots. That's so cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's art has just been really cool. It's been really nice to draw with y'all. I feel like, dude, would you guys like if we did this more often? If we did like kind of a collaborative uh, art thing every so often? But I also don't want to pressure folks that like, you know, are not comfortable with doing art. But I, I also like the idea of just like us doing it together, you know? So that way people don't feel too alone. Yes, but I might can't join due to time. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I mean, I kind of touched on it before, but like I have thought of like doing morning streams in my time. Um, maybe it's just that I'm usually like pretty EP in them and I, I can only do them on the weekends because both Beans and I, even if uh, I'm working from home, um, I like need to basically be on call, like <laughs> not on call, but sometimes like emergencies happen and like 
Uh, in a rare occasion, I will need to like rush over to a school site. But in a not so rare occasion, something might happen that necessitates me like taking a phone call, essentially. And I don't feel super comfortable like, um, I don't know, like if I'm streaming, then instead of stepping away, I feel like I would just have to stop the stream at that point. Because there have been a couple of instances where I've like, uh, I've been streaming and then there'll be like an emergency in the middle of the night work related and I have like stepped away to answer the call but I feel bad doing it and I like I always edit it out of my VODs because I'm like no <laughs> I will slowly get better maybe yeah no worries no worries because I kind of like that we're just kind of like vibing like um you know if you guys need any help with like Oh, ad break. No. Okay, I'll take a, a hydrate break. I'm usually much more active. My brains are effing put in right now. I get it. I get it. All right, let me get a hydrate break. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> I forget that that activates like F1. <laughs> I was like, what happened? <laughs> Thank you for the pet pet. I, I'm still trying to... Okay, so I really have to like link my... Hi, people bees. Hello, hello. The ad break has ended. Welcome back, everybody. Bears. Yeah, we're doing some magma board. If you want to join in, feel free to click the link that is pinned in the chat. Uh, it seems like... We still have some room on the first first page. Yeah, there's still some room over here if you want to like draw alongside of us. If you want to just watch and chill, that's also totally fine. No worries. But welcome, people bees. Welcome, welcome. I didn't give any love to the second page, have I? Let's see the second page. Oh, cute! I really love your use of the soft brush, May Shark. Cute, cute. Oh, sorry, if you were drawing and I, I kind of like put you on the spot, I apologize. Whoa, it got more neon! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, let me know if I like zoom out and you're still in the middle of drawing and it's like, no, not yet! <laughs> no worries. You know what? Something, something's off. Something looks off with this. Maybe... Mm-hmm. I might stop drawing after this bear, but like I said, if you guys like want to keep on drawing on the magma board, uh, I'll still be doing something in like the background. So, so you know, no worries. Let me draw the foot. Do the foot first. Before I was like that, no looky, not finished. Yeah, that's definitely me sometimes where it's like, no, you can't look. I do that to Bean sometimes where I'm like, no, you can't look at what I'm drawing, it's not done. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of like that. <laughs> okay, I think making the foot here makes a lot more sense. There you go, I got the little foot, now we just have to have the arm. Like I said, it doesn't- I have to follow my own rules, too, of, like, it doesn't have to be a one-to-one -one recreation. It's okay if it's a little different. There we go, the little paw. <laughs> little paw being, like, snarf. Oh, you can't use magma on mobile because the canvas is too small. Oh no, you're not able to to zoom in or like, I guess I've never tried it on on mobile. I've tried it on iPad, but I've never tried it on phone. 
Oh no. Well, sorry about that. If it if it ends up not working with the zoom, we'll find alternatives. If I don't basically trace a skeleton these days, it always comes out weird. You know, skeletons are like a really good, like fundamental thing to, to, to draw. I still haven't gotten the hang of it, but for different art classes, I've had to do it like multiple times. I'm going to redraw the eyes to make it like kind of my style. There we go. A little bigger. <laughs> there you go. He's like, he's my snack. You know what? What if we draw the other foot? I know we can't, like, see it, but... Yeah, just draw the, the other foot right there. <laughs> I did mine without zooming. Don't know how to do that with tablet. Oh, no. I can zoom in, but it's so unwieldy and all the brushes... Take up 90% of the page. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, people bees. We'll see if there's like an alternative. They sit. Yes, they sit. We'll see if there's a there's a way to do an alternative. Um I think it's worth looking into how to do it, uh, what's it called? On mobile. I, oh, I guess not. Ooh, there we go. There we go, we got three bears. Yeah, keep on working, everyone. I'll, I'll still color a little bit of mine. But what if I use a different color? Gasp. I'll make it a little darker, too. And what the hey, let's do another layer. There we go. This music, I just kind of put on a more random vaporwave. Reminds me of, uh, have you guys... <laughs> Played and or watch someone play Bug Snacks. That actually, no lie, has become one of my favorite games. I thought it would just be kind of like a shit post of a game, but no lie, it's really good. <laughs> and if you've never heard of Bug Snacks before, yeah, Bug Snacks. Uh, Professor Lando played it not too long ago, but um, it's a game that is deceptively like, like you're gonna look at it, you're gonna look at screenshots and be like, this is the good game that she's talking about. These look like Muppets, but no lie, it's it's pretty good. So like you're on an island where there's an organism called Bug Snacks. Bunger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bunger, 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 bunger. <laughs> You're, you're on this island, and by the way, all people in this universe are kind of like Muppet. Like, they're, they're, they are they're kind of look like Muppets. Um, but they end up on this island uh, where there's an organism called Bug Snacks that they, they are like bugs, but you can eat them. And when you eat them, you can adjust, um, like, it transforms your limb. Like, you can eat something called a, a bunger. A bunger is like a, one of the Bug Snacks, right? And it looks like a burger. So when you eat it, one of your limbs turns into a burger. It's like, it's very grotesque in a way, but it's also cutesy. It's cutesy grotesque. Um, and I'm not going to say anything after that because there's an actual bunger emote. Oh my God. Wait, do I have to like follow a certain, like the, the devs? Do I have to follow the devs of bug snacks? You know what? Let's play the music of bug snacks. I'm assuming they have it. Bug snacks. Oh, that's right. The music is by Caro Caro Bonito. Oh, but they also have the OST. 
Sunrise over Snack Tooth Island. It's one of the extensions. Ah, I see. BTTV? Ah, I see, I see. I think I have BTTV. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, this is the theme that I'm familiar with. Let's borrow this brown color for the snoot. Still like a yellow for the for that fruit that that he be eaten. Did you play the DLC? I didn't actually. I forgot that the DLC was a thing. Maybe that's something that I will do on stream. Because, uh, actually, so, I, I've shared this before, but, like, I did have a very short streaming stint before I became Babinka. Back, way back in 2020, when everyone had the time, right? <laughs> like, um, I did stream as, as another person. As myself, basically. <laughs> um, and I played Hades and Bug Snacks, and I think that's it. I might have played... I might have played Phasma with some friends, but I don't have the VOD to that anymore. I still have some of the VODs from back then, but I didn't have the foresight to save it back then. So I have like some of the Hades VODs and I have one Bug Snacks VOD. And then I think the rest I played off stream. I think that actually might have been the first time I, I like knew about streamer debuff. <laughs> because I feel like I, I didn't play as well on stream, like especially Hades. Phasma was on someone else's stream and you played black and white. Did I? I played black and white. I I definitely playing I remember playing black and white on this account as well. Wait, you're right, you're right. I did play black and white on that account. That's right. So Mega Bronson and Beans, they they know that that part of my my journey. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna color this bear and then we'll. Not necessarily call it, but I'll stop drawing, but you guys can keep on going. But I myself, I might want to, I know I, can, I keep on mentioning it, I want to do Ge GeoGuessr. I got a hanker in. I was the one that wrecked bug snacks. Yeah, that's right. I think like, and I initially liked it because it was like, oh, you know, cute creatures, right? And then the story just got like, <laughs> wilder and wilder. You finish your dudes? Nice. Let's see it. Oh my gosh, every time I go, like, Baba Nanas gets more detailed and detailed. <gasps> Axolotl! Dumb. I love the strokes on the little, like, the, the whiskery parts. I love it. It's so cute. And then the little face, the little uwu face. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. The little scales. The pink. Dumb. Dumb, dumb. <gasps> cute. Cute. I know I said it already, but like the soft brush strokes. I love, I love, I love. Very cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish up the coloring on this guy, on this little bear. And then we'll we'll move into some uh GeoGuessr. If for a little for a little bit. Yeah, how does the shading on this go? A little bit of shading here.
Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Bear so cute. Yeah. Everyone's works are just so cute. Why do your sunbirds look like fungor enemies? Because they are. Zako, I thought you, you you can't sleep. Are you uh or are you are you prepping to go to bed? Hi Dia, hello, hello. We're uh, we're doing some animal studies. Zako, it's because they're wrinkly. Now that I think about it, it's because they're so wrinkly. And by by me adding detail, I'm making them even wrinklier. Why Axolotl looks so dumb? I'm waiting for the meds to consume me. Ah, okay, okay. Well, I'm glad that you're you're chilling with us. Okay, put some shading here. A little bit over here. Don't explain what they are, but explain them. Oh, I'm not I'm not good at thinking on the spot with like making characters and stuff, but they are sun bears. These guys are <laughs> I guess it's like the three stooges. I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. Like, why the fuck they like that? That's just how I draw them. Don't be, don't, don't be, don't be too mean. <laughs> it's because I was trying out that thing where, like, I want the, the highlights to, um, to just be white. I'm just experimenting, you know? Just want to experiment with, uh, with the style a little bit. Oh, why do sunbirds look like men in costumes? Good question. I was trying to think of that too when uh, when I was looking at those videos of like you know the Chinese zoo that's like no for real they're just. They're... <laughs> I'm goofing on yeah yeah understandable Zako understandable. You know what it is? It's because they're so wrinkly. Okay, let's take a look at the reference picture. It's they're so wrinkly. It's because they have extra skin, in like, like it feels like they should have more skin on top of their heads, right? And yet, here it is on the neck. <laughs> I don't- I wish I, uh... Let's look for more Sunbear references. Because I get exactly what you're asking, Zako. It's really- It's a weird thing of, like... There's, there's like, some places where, like, you have too much skin, and then there's some places where it's, like, you don't have enough skin. You know what? I don't think it's the skin, it's the fluff and, like, the fat. Uh, sun bear. Show the class the image where it looks like a sloth walking on its hind legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Where you can see its knees, right? Walking. Oh my god, these are some of my favorite sun bear images. Not gonna lie. Okay. This is one of my favorite. Look at it! Look at it! He's schmoovin! Th that sun bear is schmoovin! And then there's another one that I really like. Where it's just a- it's a creatura. It's- <laughs> It's just a creature. There we go. He'd be like, huh? He looks like he's made from memory. <laughs> He looks like he's made from memory. It's it does look like a person in a suit, right? I think it's for it's because for one, they're five feet tall, which is my height. So it's understandable that people are like, that's just a person in a suit. Because that that just looks like, you know, like you could fit like a human like, you know, the human head would be here, right? <laughs> look at where like the neck is. Like that's where the person's head is, and this is where the rest of their body is, right? The the bare head is just floating on top. That's why it looks like a, a a person in a in a bear costume. And yeah, it's just this weird thing where it's like you would think there'd be more fluff and fur in certain parts, but no, it's kind of naked. 
That looks like those images where someone's trying to take a panoramic and the bear is in the middle of it. That is a whole man. The creature, it has risen. I like this one a lot. There's something about the knee. And there's something about the face that's like, they're just schmoovin. It's a Vinko bear. Face reveal. Exactly. I love it. And see, that's why I am a sun bear. I could have I could have cho chosen any old form, right? But I chose to be a sun bear. If you guys uh when you guys uh, reincarnate and you have a choice in the matter, become a sun bear. <laughs> it's so silly. It is. I agree. It's just so silly. Actually, the face is also this, like, tan color. And yes, I did add drool. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, Atta, remember that thing you posted on Twitter? Can we get a redeem where you get those proportions on a real sun bear? I don't know. No, I have planned to be a tiger beetle, the new Miss Bug. Aw, cute. Okay, since since you're still awake, I'll I'll give you this much. So. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, someone do something that is worth uh, detention. <laughs> like, I'll personally fund it. Someone do something that is like worth like sending you guys to detention. Like, don't say any gamer words, but like <laughs> the game. Okay. You asked for it. <laughs> you asked for it. And now you get it. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> oh my god, your legs. <laughs> this is cursed. Why the me the legs are move like that? <laughs> She sends us to Djibouti. I don't like how they pulsate. Why is it? Renton, what have you done? That's exactly it. If you guys want to know the origin of this, <laughs> it's because of Orc, Office Orc VTuber, Real Bingo Burr. It's a real Bingo Burr. <laughs> Nice star on the booba. Yeah, you just gotta. <laughs> Leg. <laughs> Legs so long, but still no knees. <laughs> still no knees. Who needs them? Get it? Who needs them? Did you also realize I don't have my shoes on? It was just really weird to like... It was hard to, to like... Not. It's not even rigging, but... <laughs> it was just hard to put them on. I had to take my shoes off for this. <laughs> It's because of uh, Office Org VTuber, <laughs> Randon Nuring. He showed me a picture of like a teddy bear with super long legs. Scandalous grippers. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need knees. Sonic, put those grippers away. <laughs> get yourself, get yourself some knee high boots. But I don't have knees, fight height. I don't have any knees. <laughs> you guys like how I hit it? The thing is, I was... I was, I was like this the whole time. <laughs> I was like this the whole time. But I just hit it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> See, it's... <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't able to stream during April Fools. It's, <laughs> I wasn't able to stream during April Fools. So, you know, this, this is what you guys get. <laughs> the shoes contain this ball. <laughs> she was a mask. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> Clippers get this clipped. This is a hate crime? No, it's not a hate crime. It's just a little hee hee ha ha. It's just a little he. It's just a, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Aren't we having fun? <laughs> what are you doing? No. <laughs> no. Wait, what happened to the rest of the screen? Okay, there. <laughs> Alright, I... I... <laughs> Let's fucking go, I win. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you got the star, you got the star. Okay, I'm gonna make a to-do list of things I keep saying that I'm gonna do, but keep forgetting to do. One of them is I have to change my hotkeys so that whenever it returns- re blah, 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 blah. Whenever it reverts back to my original uh, model, it doesn't do F1. Wait, where's where's my list of reminders? Okay. Reminders. I have to change the hotkeys. That way I can bring back the thing where you guys throw shit at me. For outfits. I also have to make it so that when you guys catch the star in the star game, it becomes redeem points. It becomes Bibinka Bucks. Okay, I gotta I gotta try to do those things, okay? <laughs> Y'all know how in the Spongebob movie, Neptune is bald without his crown that's Bibinka with her shoes. <laughs> you see, this- this- <laughs> That's what happens when I take off the Adidas. I need the Adidas, you see. <laughs> okay, whoever is still drawing, I know that Thousand is still drawing. You keep on drawing, alright? You keep on drawing. I'm gonna- I wanna do a little bit of GeoGuessr. Alright, so I'll come back. I'm still gonna have the tab open. Power is contained in the shoes. I just have a hanker in, you see. Open guesser. We're doing the, the free alternative. Because ain't no way that I'm gonna be paying <laughs> for that. Okay, let's turn off pure ref. Let's do this. And let's change this to just chatting. Even though, does GeoGuessr have its own, like, uh, category on Twitch? Well, I don't know. If I change it, then am I gonna get the, the people that are, like, you know... <laughs> Bless you, Beans. Is there... Is there people that backseat? <laughs> Bless you, Beans. Not necessarily backseat in how, like, you guys are just, like, helping me navigate where this is. But backseat as in, like, oh, you know if you look at the license plates and if you, if you look at the, the light poles and you, like, know, like, what the light poles look like, you can immediately tell that this is Spain. Actually, this looks like LA. Um, <laughs> actually, yeah, something about this seems kind of familiar. <laughs> oh, no, just kidding. This is an Arabic... Wait, I want it to be, like, a... Uh... Capital city. Capital city. Nobody tell Chugga Conroy. I keep hearing that name. Is that the guy that's like... The one that legitimately does that? It's like, oh, obviously this means that you're in Spain. Not really. It's more like us pointing and laughing. <laughs> that's American grass. Okay, this is a capital, right? Where to go? Uh, the text said cable, right? It had a... Let's see. KV cable route? Okay. So this could be an English-speaking nation. He's the shoe guy. Wait, it's not... I guess it's not letting me go further. Okay. Go all the way over here. Oh, there's the. It's just the guy sleeping. Or he's, he's just chilling. <gasps> Dog. Oh, wait. Oh, this is uh, part of South Asia somewhere. It could be. Because this text, is it. Is it Hindu? Is it Urdu? I'm not entirely sure. Indonesian? Maybe. Is is that what their alphabet looks like? I thought, did, did they use Latin text in Indonesia? Or Thai? 
I thought this was uh, one of the Indian. Because Ty looks a little bit different. Because uh, the thing the thing is, like, it has this bar that connects all of the characters. So I want to say it's Urdu or Hindi. Oh, it's Hindi. Okay, cool. Now the question is, <laughs> which of these countries here has Hindi? Because <laughs> the, obvious, the obvious one would be India, right? But then, like, you know, what if it's also, like, in Nepal or Bhutan or Sri Lanka or Bangladesh, right? I'm on my phone, I didn't see that. It says Chetavani? Oh. Chetavani. Wait. I'm about to show my ignorance here. Capital of India, New Delhi? Question mark? <laughs> You guys can backseat me if you want. <laughs> you guys can backseat me. I'll allow it. Thanks, Dia. Nice. Okay. Indonesian uses Latin, but there's a more traditional script. Ah, just like the Philippines. There used to be a by buy-in. But uh, now we just use Latin. <laughs> so that says Chetavani. Mumbai? Is it New Delhi? I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, colonialism. Oh, it is New Delhi. So New Delhi. You said in the north. That means warning it's not a place. It should be somewhere in the north. Ah, okay. So it could be New Delhi because New Delhi is the... We're doing uh, capitals. Unless you mean north of New Delhi. Wait, there's a... Is this a river? This is... Ah! What did I just do? <laughs> this is a river, right? Well, it's not a big river, so I don't know if that's, like, one that you would see on a map. You're right, that means... Oh, okay, okay. So, there is some type of river. There's, like, some residential areas. Is there any other... Do we have to keep on walking? Okay, we got some buildings. There's this river, but this seems pretty wide. I feel like we might be looking at like a, a thinner, thinner river. Maybe even, no, this looks like a freeway. The music makes this so, like, you know, it's an investigation. I think I just went backwards, but... <laughs> yeah, I did. I, like, looked away from the screen for a second and went backwards. <laughs> yeah. Why did it... Oh my god, what is happening? Is it, like, not letting me? Is it, like, no, you can't go here? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's reset. Yeah. Okay, we're here. Imagine if they played music from a different place just to confuse you. Yeah, like it's, it's like, you know, stereotypical, like, yeehaw music or something. Don't you know this is actually, like... <laughs> This is actually Little India in Washington, D.C. It's still a state capital, but did you not know that there's, like, an Indian enclave in, like... I mean, in Los Osos, there's, like, uh... There's a whole bunch of enclaves, like, uh... Little Ethiopia? There's a Little Ethiopia in Los Osos. Person on a bike. <gasps> Wait, I see mammonimals. I see cows. Oh, I see stuff. I see stuff. Ah, I want to I want to look at the signs. 
Ooh, is this for like elections? 2022. Let me go. Let me go here. There we go. Ooh, okay. Ah. <gasps> Hello. Aww. Okay, we got a library. We got some cows. Sick. I feel like we are probably somewhere in New Delhi, unless we're in another country in South Asia. We just gotta find some, uh, let's see, we got a library. I think Drishti. Property World, Mughalai Chicken Corner. You know the politician? I think I know where the city is. Ah. I think, would it, like, is this body of water? Like, <laughs> do you think this will help? Because I feel like this is... What river is this? Is this the river? Is this, um, the Ganges? There's no label. <laughs> this one is pretty, like, big, right? And the one that we keep on crossing into is very small, so... I feel like... I feel like maybe it's this one or this one. It's like a smaller one. Aspire Library. I'm also just digging all the cows. The river's pretty big. This might be a small canal. Ah. Yeah, because it looks pretty small, right? This looks like the Los Osos River. Which, did you guys know that Los Osos has a river? <laughs> Less of a river, really. <laughs> and more of a... More of a place for the rain to fall. What are the odds that this... No, this this is India, right? Like, what are the odds that it's, like, another place like, uh... Like, Sri Lanka? Because I feel like this is India. Especially if, Dia, you're saying that you're, like, recognizing certain things? Hey, what's this? I see something in the distance. The architecture is very beautiful. Like, whenever I turn around and see something, it's just the roads! You're done? Oh, man. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> My face! <laughs> I look so freaked out. I have no knees. Oh my god, not the trees! Not the trees! I tower over you mere mortals. <laughs> I love it! I love it! Thank you, Thousand. <laughs> and look at everyone's art. Oh my gosh. The banana. So much detail. It's like the Matrix up in here. <laughs> the Bear Titan! <laughs> I know, what's his name? Kenny? Kenny ain't got nothing on me. I'm the real... I'm the real beast titan. No knees babinka, they call me. <laughs> they call me no knees babinka. Who calls it to me? I don't know, but... <laughs> okay, let's see if there's any tributaries, cause... Or like a, like a canal? Attack thousand! 
Because, like, New Delhi is pretty, pretty, pretty big. Far Road, Shersha Road. There's this little, like, place here. Water plant. I'm just gonna put it randomly in here. We're gonna go ahead and guess. She's bigger than. <laughs> okay, I wasn't too far off. I wasn't super far off. I did get the right city. I was just in, across the town, so here in this uh, Na Naja Najaf Garnala. Ah, I see, I see. But cool, 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 cool. All right, since everyone finished drawing, I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> satisfied. I might. Uh, she's taller than Siren Head. <laughs> that was so close. Delhi is very big. Yeah, I was just trying to look for- I was trying to look for, like, bodies of water, basically. And I'm like, if it's smaller, if it's smaller than even this, then, you know, you have to find something that's, like, this size. So I- I- the thing is, I did see this one, and I was like, nah. <laughs> so I was like, no, this one, this one. But yeah, that was pretty close, right? I put a- a Kenny face on my chest. Oh my god. <laughs> Kenny! <laughs> or a Lenny face. A Lenny face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, you guys. Thanks for drawing with me. If you guys want me to, to do something like this again, I'd be super down. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm pretty good. Especially because, you know, we did what is this? Three streams in a row. I don't usually do that. I usually have like a break in between. Uh, so tomorrow, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. Unless you guys want to keep on drawing, you, you definitely can, but I might do some edits in which I put everything on one page just so I can post it to, uh, to, to the twits. It was fun. I'm gonna, I'm slowly starting to imagine how magma works, to understand how magma works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like less features than CSP, but slightly more features than MS Paint, right? I was thinking of doing like an MS Paint stream. I was like inspired by your works, but banana. But I was like, oh, I also like the features on Magma. And I, I want to try out more, like, collaborative drawing, right? So, uh, yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. Uh, but let's do our mosh pit, shall we? But thank you. I love this. I love everyone's, like, looking at di everyone's different styles, right? Because everyone, like, you know, there's the hard brush. There's the soft brush. Everyone has, like, a, an art style, their own art style that, you know... We have more like lined work, we have soft brushes, we have hard brushes, we got vibrant colors, we have more muted colors. Like I really love May Shark's like very soft, very soft brush work. And then over here, the axolotl. <laughs> I love the, the muted colors so much. But yeah, good job everybody. Good job. I might edit it all to be on one page, but thank you, thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and find our mosh pit. Uh, da, da, da. Let's exit out of Pure Ref. I'm going to be off tomorrow, but I'm going to be back on Friday with Digimon. Digimon Next World, or what is it? Next Order. Wait, Digimon World Next Order. <laughs> Why was that so difficult? Okay, moshing music. What do we have here? Oh yeah, and on Saturday, we got tarot cards. We're doing the tarot! Mushing music. I kind of-
want to listen to more, uh, since we ended off on, uh, on being in New Delhi, let's listen to Bloodywood. Thank you guys for dropping by. So Bloodywood is a folk metal band, but they did, they're, they're Indian. Yeah, we got the tarot cards on Saturday. We already listened to this one. We could listen to it again. But we could also listen to... I kind of want to listen to this one. Okay. Hold on. Let me go ahead and pause the, uh, the, the Spotify. And yeah, you guys ready to... You guys ready to mosh? You guys ready to mosh? We're going to be listening to Bloody Wood. They're an uh, Indian folk metal band. And thanks again for drawing. Uh, while, while the mosh happens, uh, I'm also going to look at who to, to raid into. Okay, so get those emotes ready, everybody. We're gonna mosh. Yeah, let's go. And you guys fight to the death. George, you're always just in time. Let's open up the pit. Oh, that sounds so good. One that won the mosh <laughs> No, it's rigged! No! Always has been! No! This rocks. Oh yeah, the speed lines, yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> These lyrics go so hard, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> there was more. Oh no, it's just their album. Check out their album. Good job, everyone. Good job. Woo! <laughs> you get an A plus 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 just for that mosh. All right. Good job, everybody. I didn't quite decide who to raid. There's just so many choices. Uh, we have Nomi, um, but I, I, we have like raided into her recently. There's also Reser Rat. Mushi we raided into last time. Professor Lando, I don't know if I've raided into him lately. So now it's between Reser Red and Lando. Which which of those two boys? Not sure. I did add Aeros, by the way. <laughs> I did follow them, so but unfortunately they're not the women right now. Your very first A plus. You always get A pluses here. Alright, I'm leaning to to Reser. To Reser Rat. So let, let's raid into Reese. And thanks everyone again for for uh, dropping by, for drawing, for drawing with me, for uh, for chilling with me, for lurking with me. I always appreciate it. So let's go raid, shall we? All right, start raid. Have a good uh, morning, afternoon, or evening. And as always, I'll see ya when I see ya. Well, bye. Oh wait, there's an ad for me. I'm gonna wait till the ad runs out. <laughs>